In this segment of our video series, I want to show you how to do the double loop stitch. For the distance to be laced, we're going to need about seven times that for the amount of lace. However, we're going to show you how to splice, so we'll use pieces of lace that are about a yard. Now we're going to lace our needle. The first thing I want to do is with a good sharp stencil knife is skive the tip of my lace and then I will take the same knife and cut it to a point. Now we're going to load the needle. Now I take my lace and with my fingernail and holding the needle I can pry it open and slip the lacing underneath and then with a pliers or some other uh, mallet or something we can squeeze the needle so that the prongs engage. To do the double loop you start first in a hole and then leave several inches bring it over the top as you see me doing here go through the next hole Pull it up snug, not real tight. And notice now as I do this, I roll over the top. I roll it. So now I'm going to go through the X that you see there. Pull it up snug, not real tight. Now we go through the next hole. up snug. Now we have another X. We go through the X. Through a hole. Through the X. and through a hole. Keep doing this all the way around your project. I have reached the corner and uh, what I want to do is go through this corner hole twice so I'll use the stylus and enlarge that hole some and I'll also do that to the next hole. So now I'll take my needle and go through that hole the way I normally would. Pull it up snug and as always, we go through the cross, go through that same hole a second time, always through the cross. And I go through the next hole, through the cross. through that same hole the second time, through the cross, and we will continue lacing. It's now time to do a splice so I will go through a cross. Now I'm going to uh, set this aside, start with another piece of lace, and I'll come down here about three holes, and I will come from the inside out, as you see me doing here. Now I will let that tail go back and I'll continue lacing and I will lace that tail underneath. Always through the cross. a 
Ó. Across. Now through this hole, I will come up through between the layers of leather. I will continue lacing now with my other piece of lace. And we will just continue lacing and lace that other piece. underneath. We're just about ready for the ending now. You'll notice that I have removed a couple stitches. Now after I go through the next to last hole, I will come up through the loop, then I will go back through the cross, then I will go down through the loop to the outside. And now, it's just a matter of taking the lace. Now we go through that last hole and come up through the, uh, between the thicknesses of leather until your needle comes through. And you can pull it in like this. You have a real nice ending. And we'll take a shears or a knife and Cut it off. To make your lace lay nice and flat, and more even, it's a good idea to tap it down with the mallet. 